hey, let's talk about chaos. I want you to take control of chaos, the simplest form of chaos that we can implement, which is the Lorentz system, aka Lorentz attractor, aka the butterfly effect. By the way, if you don't know anything about chaotic systems, I highly recommend you check out the very awesome video I've linked in the description. Alright, so what's a Lorentz attractor? Uh, this is the Lorentz attractor. It's a system that produces chaotic values. And if you were to plot these values over time, in 3D space, you'll get to see that it's sort of attracted to those two points. One cool thing about the Lorentz attractor is, because it's a chaotic system, it never really repeats itself. Even a slight change in the initial conditions will have a huge influence on the outcome. You know, the, the butterfly effect. The other cool thing about it is that it's described with a simple set of differential equations. But what are those equations telling us? Think about it this way. This is a simple differential equation. If you know the current value of x and you know the amount of time that has passed since you got this value, you can find out the next value of the variable. Let's say the x equals 1 and the delta time equals 2. If we put those values in the system, we'll see that the next x value is 5. You can approach the Lorentz system the same way, but instead of one equation you get three, and they all depend on each other. The other thing that might confuse you is that Lorentz system has those constants or parameters. I'm not gonna explain those. If you're really interested, you can read the Wikipedia article I've linked below. We're just gonna use the most common set of constants, which is 10, 20 and 3 divided by 8. Now let's go to Touch Designer. Because we are dealing with numbers and math, you may think that we need to do it in chop operators. And I get it, but it's wrong. Implementing this simple system will take a bunch of operators and will be a pain to use afterwards. So. We are gonna go with tops instead, and a tiny bit of GLSL. First, we need the initial position, uh, our x, y and z coordinates. Let's add a noise. We only need one point, set the resolution to 1x1, one one, set the pixel format to 32-bit float, disable interpolation, disable monochrome and set the offset to 0. We need to store these values somewhere once we've updated them, so let's use a feedback top. At a GLSL top, that's where we'll do all the calculations. By the way, I'm not gonna get into the basics of GLSL here, because there is a bunch of tutorials on that topic, and also there is a really solid piece of documentation called how to write a GLSL top that you can read. Or if you don't wanna do that, I also have this file available for all my patrons. Huge thanks to all my patrons as well as other stuff, so yeah, consider checking it out. First of all, we need the delta time parameter, so here is the float dt equals 0.008. Now uncomment this statement, we're gonna use it for the position, so why not rename it to pose? Let's find the delta values. These are the exact same equations that you've seen before, but written in GLSL. Now let's make our life a bit easier by defining a vec4 called delta, which equals dx, dy, dz and 0, because we are not doing anything with the alpha channel. Increase the position by delta, get rid of this line and set the output to pose. That's it for the GLSL, you can hide the dots. Add an null and drag it onto the feedback. Add another null here and let's deal with the rendering network. Add an add sub. Activate add points, connect it to convert sub. Let's convert it to particles per point. Connect it to gel comp, add a camera, add a constant mat, apply it to our gel comp. Finally, add a render. Go to gel comp, enable instancing, set this null to be the translate operator, set translate parameters to R, G and B. You can see the dot is moving, but it's moving way too far. Let's insert a math top here. Go to multi-add and set the multiply to 0.1. That, that's better. Now we can align the camera. To see the trail, let's add another feedback here. Add a composite top, connect the feedback and the render. Drag the composite onto the feedback. Now we can adjust our camera position again. Reset the feedback and here we go. 
you can also add a keyboard and chop, make it reset both feedbacks, set the initial resolution to 10x10 pixels, and reset the feedback. Th that's nice. Now let's add a bit of transparency, insert a mirror with 90 degrees rotation, and comp it over a black background. You can also add a ramp with the same resolution as our noise, tweak it a bit and set it to control the colors of these instances. You can modify the feedback loop by adding a tiny bit of noise on each iteration. You can set the initial noise amplitude to something crazy like 100. And now if you reset the feedback you'll get this cool emerging Lorentz attractor plot. You can also change the DT parameters to something smaller like 0.002 and yeah, that's it, congrats, now you can control the chaos. Feel free to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this tutorial. You can also support me on Patreon and thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.